Well, the first time when I got really inspired and it really kicked me to become a DJ was actually when I saw uh, Ken Ishi playing in a club in Düsseldorf called Tor 3. Um, because it was just fascinating for me to see um, somebody making a crowd going wild by just playing records and I definitely wanted to find out about it. The first time when I actually got a chance to play out some records was in a club in Düsseldorf uh, that did parties on a Thursday and uh, I obviously got the opening slot and um, I totally banked the shit out of it because obviously I didn't have a clue like how to do a warm-up. I was already doing my own music at that time, mostly hip-hop or composing my own melodies on the piano. So I was just thinking, why not getting into production? And uh, yeah, things snowballed pretty fast because of doing my own productions and uh, playing my own music out. So people did notice that I'm not only a DJ and it definitely opened more doors. Very soon I moved then to Berlin for my studies and uh, I got to know a lot of people here. I was working part-time voluntarily for Get Physical or even for DJT, even if it was about just digitalizing records or brewing coffee, but uh, I got my foot in the door. The surrounding here in the city is musical-wise, it's just so big, you get a lot of inspiration, you meet a lot of people on the parties and it just helps. Obviously that also did let me think about doing my own thing with my own music, like with my own people, my own crew around me, finding a label and somehow leaving a mark in the industry. And that led me to uh, start with E.ON. When you release on other labels, it's like in a certain way you are always limited in the music and in the possibilities what you want and what you can do. And for me as an artist it was always really important to break those frames and break with those borders and really be able to do what I really want. I also wanted to create a platform where I can actually release music from other talents that I think uh, could fit with the vision that I have. And I think that really worked out with people like Speaking Minds, TVA, Dennis Horvath, King Kate and Annie. I mean, those kind of people have their own vision about music, but at the same time they share the same ideals about what they want to express. I also wanted to make sure that actually the whole value and the whole image that we represent is getting spread out in the world and um, therefore we started the events where we include obviously all our artists but also include a lot of friends that um, share in a way the same vision and the same experience that I got actually lucky to experience since 12 years on my own now with a bunch of people that I actually can call my family right now. No doubt the style of my music changed throughout the last years and I think that's gonna be the same uh, that will happen to Aeon. I'm not gonna be the guy who will say that Aeon always will stand for a certain kind of sound. For me it's more about the quality, the diversity for the vision that we actually share and the love that we have for this music. So we actually wanted to set a starting point with this compilation celebrating the five years that features a lot of diverse music from quality artists that should guide the way towards the next five years.